Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, April 30th. A major storm will impact much of the eastern U.S. over the next 24 to 36 hours or so. Torrential rain is likely in the area extending from the Carolinas all the way up to New York State. That includes the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City metropolitan areas. Certainly there can end up being anywhere from 2 to 4 inches of rain by the time uh, tomorrow midday rolls around. We have a combination of factors. Tropical moisture flowing northward from uh, the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico. We have a very vigorous wave in the upper part of the atmosphere and a very slow moving frontal system that's moving from west to east but is just inching along and it'll take a long time before that clears off the eastern seaboard. Let's start off by looking at a, a product put out by the University of Wisconsin, total precipitable water, and it's just a great way to look at uh, the tropical moisture feeding into the eastern U.S., paving the way for this major rain event. First of all, the moist area here is represented by yellows and oranges, and you can see multiple avenues here for tropical moisture to flow northward. One, coming from the southwestern part of the Atlantic, another a batch of moisture coming, flowing northward from the Gulf of Mexico. Even the Caribbean Sea is uh, seeing some moisture flow out of the Caribbean and up the eastern seaboard. All of this kind of funneling the moisture up the east, uh, up the east coast, uh, and uh, moistening up the atmosphere just ahead of this painfully slow-moving frontal system that again is oriented north to south and moving from west to east at a at a very slow pace, but just look at this tropical moisture feeding in, and that, of course, is setting the stage for as much as two, three, four inches of rain uh, today, tonight, into the day on Friday in much of the eastern U.S. Well, this is another map from NOAA's mesoscale analysis page that kind of shows the uh, south to north flow along the eastern seaboard. What we're looking at here is moisture transport at 850 millibars, it's a couple thousand feet up in the atmosphere, and just look at this flow of air from the south to the north along the eastern seaboard. This is Pennsylvania showing up right in this region right here, and uh, tropical moisture feeding in from the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean Sea, the southwest Atlantic flowing right up ahead of that frontal system, low pressure spinning its heels out over the uh, northern Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes region, with uh, really a, a frontal system just inching its way to the east at a, at a snail's pace, and the atmosphere is very, very moist ahead of it. It will tend to squeeze out the moisture in the atmosphere, and again, all of this leading to localized flash flooding possibilities. Certainly that is a concern, especially for this afternoon and tonight, pretty much anywhere from the Carolinas up to uh, the northeastern U.S. with two, three, four inches of rain possible. Not only will the rain be a, a big factor here, of course, but the winds will be uh, quite, quite noticeable, perhaps gusting up to 40 or 50 miles per hour in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, especially as you get closer and closer to the coastline. Uh, coastal New Jersey, for example, easily could see 50 mile per hour wind gusts over the next several hours with this developing storm system. Well, here's kind of a more conventional look at the radar loop this morning, and we have a wall of water closing in on the D.C. metro region right now, right in this region right here there, right now on the eastern edge of the steadiest, heaviest rain. Certainly can be some thunderstorms mixed in. Most of it is in Philadelphia for the afternoon and evening hours. Same thing in New York City later this afternoon into the evening hours. Probably the heaviest rain in New York City actually will be uh, in the nighttime hours here, but that wall of water is just now moving into the D.C. metro region. There can be a strong thunderstorm at any time uh, during the day into the nighttime hours here. And here's the where the surface low pressure area is just sitting and spinning here. We talked yesterday about a blocking pattern in the upper part of the atmosphere across southeastern Canada, basically forcing the uh, upper level system and the surface system going up to the Great Lakes and then being forced to kind of loop back around back towards the Mid-Atlantic region. That upper level low will actually be sitting on top of the Mid-Atlantic region during the day on Friday. So we certainly have an unsettled day coming on Friday with additional showers 
maybe even a thunderstorm or two, but just a wall of water inching its way from west to east right now, aligned with that frontal system. DC area is just now getting into the steadier heavy rain this afternoon in Philadelphia and late in the day, early tonight in New York City. Well, let's take a look at that upper level vorticity. Again, a major factor here. We have uh, an influx of tropical moisture. We have a very slow moving frontal system and we have a vigorous wave in the upper part of the atmosphere. And starting off the day here on Thursday, notice where that upper level feature is right now over Michigan, southern Michigan, the uh, Great Lakes region. And again, a blocking pattern across southeastern Canada. Look at the movement of this system here by tonight, still sitting and spinning over the uh, northern Ohio Valley. And then by tomorrow morning, it drops southeast from southern Michigan to the interior section of the Mid-Atlantic region. In other words, it is forced to kind of loop back around. That uh, prolongs the rainfall, which of course increases the chances for uh, flooding. Uh, again, heavy rain for a long period of time on already well-saturated grounds. We have saturated grounds right now throughout much of the eastern U.S. Uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, we've had significant rainfall in the past several weeks. And on top of that, we've had a very chilly month of April, certainly below normal in places like D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. That has inhibited any possible evaporation of moisture from the top layers of the soil. So again, the, uh, the conditions are set here for some flash flooding with this heavy rainfall, especially this afternoon and tonight really anywhere in the eastern U.S. from the Carolinas up to the northeastern part of the nation. We have this sitting over the mid-Atlantic region on Friday, still additional showers on Friday, uh, certainly not nearly as heavy as what I expect uh, today into tonight, but there can't even be a thunderstorm on Friday, a very unsettled day on Friday, and finally that pushes on out of here on Saturday. It looks like uh, by Saturday morning it should be clearing the coast, and we should have a decent start to the weekend on Saturday, but another system promises to bring more showers to the mid-Atlantic region late in the day Sunday into Sunday night. Well, let's take a look at the surface forecast maps from the 6E GFS model. And by the way, this model has kind of caught up to the European model in dumping a lot of rainfall now in the mid-Atlantic region. I think the Euro has been probably the most consistent uh, with the heaviest precipitation, it looks like that's going to be right the way it's setting up. We'll take a look at the total uh, rainfall amounts from the European model in a moment here. But here we are starting the day on Thursday. Again, winds tend to flow parallel to isobars. Isobars are lines of equal pressure shown on these particular maps in solid black lines. Uh, 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 here's the center of the low pressure area and winds blow counterclockwise around lows. So this is a southerly flow of air right along the eastern seaboard, again funneling tropical moisture from way down south into the eastern U.S. And here's heavy rainfall already now into the D.C. metro region. Let's move forward here. It slides slowly to the, to the east with that slowly moving frontal system at the surface and heavy rain moves into Philadelphia area this afternoon. New York City maybe late in the afternoon or early evening and continues well into the nighttime hours across New York City. And then tomorrow, here we are Friday morning, maybe the steadiest, heaviest rain is off the coast, but again we have that upper level feature that is slowly spinning its way to the mid-Atlantic region on Friday and that will cause additional showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two, maybe even a brief period of some heavier rain on Friday. Uh, certainly nothing like what we expect today, but this is not done with uh, by uh, the end of tonight or early Friday. We have more showers to deal with, not only Friday, but maybe even into Friday evening in the Mid-Atlantic region. Again, there can be a thunderstorm or two. Then we finally get into Saturday. This high-pressure system takes over, improving conditions Saturday morning and pretty nice afternoon throughout the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City corridor, throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. But another fast-moving system here, in this case, uh, throws some clouds and then showers our way probably by uh, Sunday afternoon going into Sunday evening. Could even become a pretty decent rain event Sunday evening in much of the mid-Atlantic region. That moves on out of here 
by Monday. Well, one final map. Let's take a look at the European precipitation uh, forecast for this upcoming event. Again, it's been quite consistent. Look at all these numbers. As much as four inches of rain here depicted by the Zero Z European model in East Central Pennsylvania. Again, I expect anywhere from two to four inches of rain, maybe in some locally heavier amounts in parts of the Mid-Atlantic region. Uh, the, the wall of water is now into the D.C. metro region, moves into Philadelphia this afternoon, New York City by this evening. Watch out for uh, localized flash flooding later today into the night and probably into the day on Friday as well with the uh, very saturated grounds and the heavy rainfall that is on the way if it's not already in your area uh, yet. So that's it for now. Stay tuned to PerspectiveWeather.com for any uh, updates later on today. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.